I actually think it was interesting that the creator said that it was about the causes of Brexit. And actually, I think culture, whether it's gaming, whether it's different forms of the arts, trying to kind of engage people in the issues is really, really helpful. And for me, you know, it, it may not be the dystopia, but the underlying drivers of Brexit, you know, yes, there were people who voted for the European Union, but for a lot of people, it was despair and discontent with the economic system. With an economic system that, you know, still benefits a tiny proportion of people where people aren't feeling the benefit in the majority. And the problem in all of the debate of the last three years is that we've got away from that. And we're not talking about those issues and we're not talking about how we need to respond. We're talking about the ins and outs of whether we leave or how we leave. And that is a problem. And if it takes the gaming industry to sort of shine a spotlight on that, Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I, I mean, if you look at actually who voted for Brexit, it was a huge, broad cross-section of people across British society, across every socio-economic group, across every ethnic group, in every region of the country. I think to characterise it as just being a kind of cry of discontent no. from the uh, underprivileged is No, no, is, is there, there was a coalition, but... For a sizable proportion of that coalition and the numbers that were decisive for it to be a leave versus a remain, it was a call for change. It was about a rejection of the status quo and a demand for something different. Yeah, and national in the sovereignty. End, well, yes, sovereignty to what end? You've got to go back to the fundamental issues and address how we make people's lives better. And just saying we're going to leave and it's OK is not good enough. What happens beyond leaving? And that is the fundamental question. And I think that's the issue that they're trying to get at.